Hello everybody, it's Cobbler's Vlogs and today is Double Upload Friday where tonight I had, last night sorry, I had the privilege of going to BBC Radio Northampton and I met up with, uh, I was on the, the guest fan on the Cobbler's show and uh, I was uh, a guest alongside John Brady and uh, Mark Webber was the host and Dave Buchanan as the uh, the co-host, Dave Buchanan Cobbler's left back. But today I'm bringing you the first of two interviews that I managed to get last night. The first one is with John Brady. Um, me and John know each other quite well from uh, when I worked with him when he was doing his back of the net stuff. He's now the youth team, the Cobbler's youth team manager and I managed to speak to him about what he's doing at the club at the minute. So yeah, thank you to John for giving up his time for doing this and yeah, enjoy the video. So here with the Cobblers uh, youth team coach, uh, John Brady. Um, some of you may recognise him if you if you came to my primary um, from back in the net. Um, obviously now Cobblers first youth team manager. What's it like in the job, like doing that? Great job. Uh, I get the opportunity to get out in the grass every day um, and coach the best youngsters in Northamptonshire. Um, I... I really thrive on getting out in the grass. I like being out in the open air first and foremost. But um, you know, it's um, it's really what I wanted to do. As you probably know, I managed Brackley in the yeah. Conference North yeah. for six and a half years, and we had a successful time. But you know, it was it was managing uh, on a Tuesday and Thursday night, and it, it was then playing on a Saturday. And for me, I wanted more. I wanted to uh, manage every day. I wanted to coach every day. I'm, I like coaching more yeah. than than in terms of managing, and for me, um, to to better myself, the only way to better myself as a coach would be to do it every day, mm -hmm. and um, that's what I really enjoy. And um, I'm especially enjoying the time we've got right now because we've got a fantastic group, as mm -hmm. everyone's talking mm -hmm. about. Um, how much how much do you work with Keith Kerr on the first team, and how much communication do you sort of have with him throughout your throughout the week? Okay, yeah, throughout the week, uh, you know, I've spoke to him in terms of um, uh, on Monday uh, about Jay, et cetera, uh, going up. And uh, when he first came, I, I spoke to him on, on his arrival. Um, you know, we, we've had limited communication at the moment, only purely for the fact that he's solely focused on getting results for this, mm -hmm. this team, and he's doing a brilliant job at that at the moment. Um, as I said before, uh, Colin Westy's assistant. I played with Westy for two years towards mm -hmm. the end of his career, um, and I would more sort of speak to Westy at the moment. Um, and I, I, I could see that soon enough, uh, in time, that uh, w our communication will open up a bit more. But um, obviously, previous prior to that, you know, I, I was in regular contact and and work with the first team mm -hmm. with Dean uh, Austin. But um, yeah, I, I I would hope in time. But you know. It, Keith's doing a fantastic job and he, he's got to focus on that first team right now. And just finally, is there anyone that you could see, anyone that we may not have heard of yet that um, could be break, you could maybe see breaking through into the first team in the next few few years, maybe even this year? Yeah, look, um, any one of the second years that, that, that I've explained uh, earlier on radio uh, could second year scholars that that means they're they're in there they've done two years they're they're in their final year and any one of them could break through there there's some um ones that people haven't heard about bradley lashley the goalkeeper good young keeper um matthew slynn fantastic holding midfielder mm -hmm. um you've got obviously we talked about scotty pollock um 14 goals in 12 games. Jack Dolly, striker, 10 goals in 12 games. You've got Morgan Roberts, who's already signed a three-year deal with the club. Um, you've got Jay Williams, who's making his debut now. You've got a centre-half, Ryan Hughes, good height, good athleticism, um, left-sided centre-back. Um, you've got Joe Jarvis, good right uh, right midfielder, right winger. Mm -hmm. Cameron McWilliams, Sean McWilliams, his brother. brother yeah. um, you know... Uh, <laughs> You've got a fantastic group of second years that uh, are really breaking through at the moment. And then, um, you know, first year, young Michael Harding, very quick, sort of a mini version of Junior Marias. Yeah. Uh, he's a first year, scoring goals in the in the youth team, playing regularly in the youth team, and he played against Man United in the, the reserve, well, not reserve team friendly, sort of... Uh, first team friendly at the uh, the start of the season in pre-season and, and, and you know Cobblers beat them 2-0 and yeah. quite comfortably and Cameron played in that game Jay played in that game Morgan came on in that game so you know look but the like we talked about these boys have to potentially go out now and, and ply their trade non-league for a little bit like Sean McWilliams did a couple of years ago yeah. for Kings Lynn uh, and it, it sort of made him um, 
and it will make or break uh, yeah. some players, you know. So, but we've got to find the right club for these players now. So, so obviously, I'm coming up to to the end of my time in school now, year eleven, GCSE years. So, what would you give? Um, what advice would you give to sort of a young player, sort of my age, looking to try and break through um, into an academy and then potentially into a first team? If you've got that belief in yourself, firstly, never give up. Mm -hmm. Secondly, hard work. Yeah. Um, and to do the extra, listen to your coaches, um, uh, especially coaches that uh, really positively reinforce and, and are, are, are really positive towards you. Mm -hmm. I think all coaches need to be that way. Um, never, a, never a negative. If it's not right, guide them in the way to be better. Mm -hmm. um, coaches, uh, I believe that. Um, but yeah, like we said, hard work. And then thereafter, working hard to, to improve your ability and work on the things that your super strengths that you are yeah. good at. And, and the things you really, your weaknesses, you need to work at. So, um, and, and like I say, some, some people ignore their super strengths and, and don't work on them. Keep working on your super strengths, keep yeah. working on that. And then um, I believe that, um, you know, you, then you've got to test yourself at the best level you can. Yeah. Uh, and look, look at Scotty Pollock, he's, 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 Jumped levels, jumped a level, jumped a level, and he keeps proving himself yeah. at every level. So, you know, it can be done, you know, mm -hmm. so, and, and never give up. And, you know, just be the best you can be. Don't yeah. put pressure on yourself uh, and enjoy the game first and foremost mm -hmm. as well. So, cool. Thank yeah. you. Brilliant, Matty. Cheers. So, yeah, a very, uh, a very good interview there with John explaining his role uh, at the club and some up and coming players that we could see in the future and uh, some advice for any of you aspiring footballers out there that may want to break through into the into an academy or into a first team. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Come back at 4 p.m. today where I'll be putting up an interview with Cobbler's left back, David Buchanan. That should be a brilliant one. So yeah, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.